Hey, what's up, everybody? So, some big news. So, the uh, 2024 edition of the Send In Launchbox Builder's Guide is going to be right around the corner. So, I just want to bring that up and also talk about a few things of how we're going to go about it. And even for you people who's been following me from the uh, first and second iteration, there's going to be improvements and new stuff here that even you can still learn. Uh, you don't have to follow this if you don't want to. All the old methods will still work, especially if you have it going. Um, I probably advise you do this as a separate build so you can play around and learn new things. So what are we going to change? We're going to add more arcade games. So I believe we did this at about 73 games. So we're going to bump this up to over 100 games. Uh, American Laser games, we're going to do this as well. I think last time... I just gave you a full copy and paste. So I'm going to break it down and show you every step that I had to do for American Laser Games as well as bring it up over here, our WoW Action Max. Uh, same for Sega Model 3, uh, not much to it. And we're also going to experiment in going two-player mode. Um, last time we only done one player. But, you know, if you do want to go through the process and do want to play two players, you do have the options of playing uh, these three games and two players. So that will be available. Uh, we're going to rework Sega Model 2, a Thomas Wave. Um, and we're also going to add on some systems that we haven't done yet. We're going to do the uh, Genesis. And we're going to rework how we done Nintendo Master System as well. Uh, we backpedaled and kind of used MAME to take care of these. Which MAME did an okay job, but there's a much better way of doing it. And we could also get better running games as well. So we're going to go through uh, Retro Arch to run these. Uh, Sega Master System, I haven't decided yet if we want to do... Uh, Bismarck or Retro Arch, but I wanted to test them both out before we get that far in. I wanted to put out the best way to do it. Now we'll also unlock at least two more games that we were unable to play through MAME. Now I want to say it's Laser Disc Games and a Shooting Gallery. I had a lot of requests for that one, so we'll get that one going as well. And a Techno Parrot. I showed you a couple of them, and we're actually going to hop on Techno Parrot pretty quickly. So the plan is, after we do our foundation, we're going to run Arcade, and then I just want to jump straight to Techno Parrot because Techno Parrot's not really hard. I would like to do Techno Parrot first, but there are some of y'all out there with systems that just cannot run this, so I want to at least give y'all something playable right out the gate, as well as computers. We haven't jumped into computers in Windows yet. So, uh, this right here is a game you get off of Steam. It's only one dollar, and it's pretty amazing. But also, we're going to get into uh, um, auto hotkeys. Now, traditionally, you would do the auto hotkey, and you will uh, have the game start. You'll have whatever you need it to do. All that run is script. We're going to do things differently, as we always do. And let me pull an example up here. Oh, excuse me, some crud in my throat. But when you run Epic, you're going to need to auto a hotkey so you can have your control set. And it doesn't look like I have it set for this one, but I'll uh, show you one that I do have set. Unleash. Uh, we'll go into my D folder. Yeah, we're going to create a new folder called Scripts where you put everything. Now, a lot of this I've just been playing around with. Um, we're going to get into QRES, and what QRES does is it will allow you to change and modify the size of your game screen. So, for some games that just might be off, this will definitely help. It's also a good stable way to make sure that you keep your frame rate where it's at. If you've been playing on 4Ks, 2Ks, sometimes that frame rate can jump to just 30. So you can use QRES to keep that a constant at 60 no matter what you do from the build. But Epic is what I want to look at here. And don't let this scare you. If you never mess with auto hotkey before, don't let it scare you. It's actually not too bad to figure out. I'm not going to ask you to make your own 
Auto hotkeys whenever we come to anything we need. I want to have a link down below in the description and I'll show you how to use it. And actually, we'll set up the epic one real quick as an example. So, right here, you would do this auto hotkey deploy epic, and then you have the right mouse button that will be your reload, middle mouse button will be your missiles when you get that far in the game. Uh, counter is your space, which is E, and we haven't mapped space yet. So I want to show you how to do that. If you want to go ahead and do that, then we have your uh, booster will be your one, which would be the uh, front right, and then of course your directional pads. Now when you're playing these games on Steam and some other games, you're just unable to map your controls to your gun. So that's where the auto hotkey comes in. It's real simple and easy to use. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this path here. Come up to Epic. We're going to edit the metadata. Come down here to additional apps. We're going to add apps. And name this whatever you want. I just want to call it Epic Controls. You can call it whatever you want. You can just call it one if you want. And now the auto hotkey, like everything else, it's going to be inside LaunchBox. So you don't need to go outside LaunchBox and download it. It's already there. So how to access that, you're going to go to your folder, you're going to come down to third-party apps. Auto hotkey, and it's right here. So we have a program here, and then down here, you just want to put down the path of what hotkey that you want to run. So we'll paste that, we want this to run before the game. Hit OK. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Now we can play Epic all through our guns. So that was just a quick, simple one, and I'll get into more depth throughout the series on what else we can do with those. We also have the new uh, firmware that's out, so I've actually been running that on my gun, and it hasn't been uh, too bad, although some people have had issues with their guns. So we're going to start off with the firmware update, and I'm just going to leave that up to you if you want to do that, if you want to take the risk. Me, personally, I have not had any... Uh, um, damage or any issues with my gun but I have known others who have had issues with theirs as well so it's kind of a take the leap or not but one thing that we will be using with the new firmware as we get into uh, uh, PS3, probably PS2 and maybe if we can get it stable enough in Sega Model 3 for 2 players but joystick mode and joystick mode will change how the computer sees the gun and it could greatly help with the uh, stability of your mouse IDs. So, I'll be testing that. And if things go great, we're going to go at joystick mode, which for joystick mode, you will need to be on the latest firmware. Okay, and uh, also we're going to be doing uh, non, non light gun arcade games. So, I know some of y'all want that added to yours i don't myself i do i like to just have it all on one machine since one machine is all i have so we're going to go and do that as well so that would be optional too we're going to do that after we have our mame arcade set up and then we're going to run this through mame i ran a quick little video last time and we done that through a retro arch so this time around, I want to show you how to do it through MAME. It's not really too complex. Now, we all of us are going to have a different type of button configurations for it. So I'll just walk you through and show you the best way to do it for your configuration. Whether you're running a six button, eight button, four player, um, mouse and ball. I'll go through some stuff that you can do to help utilize and improve your experience with it. Okay, um, oh, and also, you know, I have done the Uncle Rick build that's been out. It's been successful, and thank you all for trying that. I'm still going to put out videos as companions for those for any issues that might have, that some people may have had. But I really haven't had many people with really much issues at all. So if you are running that build, you know, just hit me in a comment, let me know, and I'll put something out for you. And also, my new Discord channel is about to be out. So, if it does come out, I do suggest that you try to get into it 
it will run as a companion for my video so anytime i have links download or whatever else i need that'd be a good place to find the uh, resources to get those and it could make setting this up a lot easier for you but also a good place to get the uh, quickest response to any trouble shooting and issues that you may have already have a few good people in there right now so it's not really officially open yet but it will be pretty soon um to be a part of that there is a couple things that's going you're going to need to do and one of them is join the light gun lunatics on facebook uh, i'm not saying that just as a plug but it's just a way to help me vet out um this users that shouldn't be in there and trolls there's been a lot of uh, things going on right now in the emulation world to where a lot of things are getting shut down it all started with nintendo switch and now it's just trickling down and we're starting to feel the effects in our group as well so it's just a way to protect it and keep the integrity of what's going on so if you want to be a part of this join that group it's just a great group with great resources anyways and join as a member when you join on my discord you're going to uh, pull it up here <clears throat> i have a lot of crap here okay so we have all these channels here on the far left and you can just find us about a resource or channel for anything that you like but when you first join, you're going to come as just a regular member. So as a regular member, you're going to be very limited to what resources you have at your disposal. And you won't have a chance to interact with any of this. You only have the interaction chance whenever I upgrade you to Lunatic. So whenever we get you changed to Lunatic... Then you have all these other options available. And of course, one way to do that is join a Facebook group. I will go through myself and personally vet who you are. And then I will upgrade to Lunatic. Uh, last time, I think we just got too many people in too fast. And the um, Discord just got corrupt. Uh, I mean, that's just straight and simple what happened. So we're doing everything we can this time around to keep the integrity of it. All right, well, anyways, uh, thanks for sticking around. And, you know, I'm ready to get back to the roots of this channel, which is showing y'all how to build great builds. So I will catch you then. Until then, y'all have a fantastic.